Hey Frugal Fitness fans, Mike Schumer here, author of The Frugal Diet and your host of Frugal Fitness TV with my good friend and culinary expert, Amanda. Mm -hmm. And we are making uh, buff, what are we making? They're <laughs> balls of like protein, basically. Twist. Not protein bars, they're protein balls. Get buff balls protein. Yeah. And this is a uh, fantastic recipe with tons of protein, of course, tons of healthy fats, and it's going to be a nice, lean, and delicious recipe. And we also got in some good fruits from Whole Foods, awesome uh, cranberries that were a good bargain at Whole Foods because we got it at the uh, kind of What's that section, man? The bulk food section. So the bulk food section, man. Because you can bulk up <laughs> with these and bulking it, protein bars. And it doesn't cost a whole paycheck, as I like to right. nickname Whole Foods in the past. But it really doesn't. Um, and we're going to add in a nice little bit of good old GNC 100% whey protein so we can live well now. And uh, uh, nice and high in protein, low in fat, low in sugar, and tastes great. Good almonds, and yep. guys, you'll be proud of me that this weekend, it's Saturday, I finally got a date for Saturday night. I got some dates here. He's actually, <laughs> he actually got 20. 20, 20 dates. Yeah. I'm just rolling in them. Mm -hmm. I got them lined up, and yeah. I should have got them at the bulk section at Whole Foods, but yeah. as always, I forget at least one ingredient, so I mean, you know, we had to make do. We had to go to another grocery store and get these. They're fine. They're going to do just well. And the uh, buff balls are going to taste fantastic anyways. So um, Mary's so, going to take us through this fantastic recipe. So you can actually get all of the ingredients in this recipe, probably aside from the protein, in the bulk food section at Whole Foods. And it's pretty inexpensive. So there's dried cranberries. And if Mike had remembered, you could have gotten the dates from there. Um, but these was, tell us. If I was buff enough, I would have gotten some more dates. That maybe. <laughs> his dates have no fat. Oh. They're sodium free. They have no cholesterol, <laughs> and they're a good source of dietary fiber. I, yeah, I said I like my dates to be low in <laughs> fat, but I was just talking about the fruit. I promise, not you know, not the lady kind. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you can get the almonds there too, and you can get them whole. But my. Want to be lazy and get them sliced already. Yeah. Not make the food processor do so much work. Exactly. Make and, it uh, easier to, to crush up a little bit. Right. And the flat seed too. I believe you can get there. Yep. So, uh, what we're going to do is Mike's going to, you know, handle his dates and put 20 of them in uh -huh. here. I'll handle them gently. Or around 20. It doesn't have to be exact. Gently. <laughs> strong and gentle with care. Four. <laughs> five, six. Man, if I had 20 dates. Like if I had 20 dates, that would be really expensive. Because that's 20 now trips, yeah. 20 trips to the Dollar Tree, and then <laughs> get the dollar menu from Mickey D's. And that, uh, you know, it's a lot for one guy to pay for. Yeah. Um, His dates love it. Out of these 20 dates, I don't know how many are gonna call me back. <laughs> for a second right. one. So that's 20? Yep. About okay. 20. It might be a little more. Alright, yeah, anyway. <laughs> We know how you roll. I don't know how to count um. <laughs> Half a cup of dried cranberries. Nice. And then we'll put in a cup of almonds. This is a half cup measure. Oh, let me just put it in the cup. Alright. I love my almonds. I my almond milk. And you um, can put them all in the food processor. This is so easy. That's how we like to do it here. Simple and delicious. That's how we roll. I don't like to make things too complicated. We might as well just put this whole <laughs> Yeah, let's put the whole thing in. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So almonds are kind of expensive, then, but these were these little bit uh pretty pretty cheap, so. You can add a little flaxseed. Yeah, I don't um, know why it's in a big bag, and this is my personal flat ground flaxseed, so I don't do want to buy any extra. Like a quarter. Let's do a little less than a quarter. Of a cup. Okay. We can always add more later. Oh. Alright. Quarter cup, yep. less less than a quarter cup. Yep, and then um, maybe I'm a seventh of a cup. You could put your whey protein <laughs> in. Yep, exactly. Time to get in. Uh, use this. Yeah, this, this is a new batch, so the, the scoops and hides. Or you can use the um, hides under the protein. This, if you would like. I don't know how much you want to put in. Oh, see this. This doesn't work for me when it comes to protein. You gotta you gotta really scoop it up. Put protein in everything. There you go. Gotta go. Perfect. A little bit. Some good old GNC, 100% whey. It's the way to go. 
<laughs> and then we're gonna put some agave in so that it sticks together. Just yep. however much. Feel we'll free. put just a little and then we'll put some more later. And you can use honey too. Um, we had agave on hand. I, I could have brought some honey, but I forgot. Um, so agave works perfectly. Ready? And for some people, it might be better. Food processor time. So, yeah. sometimes it's not gonna stick together that well. So, a trick would be to put it in the microwave for like 25 seconds. I like it. She knows all the tricks in the kitchen. Just so you can make it into a ball. Yeah. That's what she's here for. She knows the tricks of the trade. So, trick here. You're gonna help me. Yep. You're gonna wet your hands. All right. Just a little, because it's gonna be easier to roll the, yep. or to put them in balls. And then just get a little bit of it and make it into a ball. Yep. Okay, I can do that. Like meatballs. But like, yeah, but like Except little... healthier for your heart. I actually like Dunkin' Donuts a lot. And by like, I mean love. And- Me too, who doesn't? They're, they have munchkins, but these are much healthier munchkins. Yeah, this is gonna make, it's gonna make a lot of servings, a great snack. Yeah, and then you can bring them, I like to bring them to work as a snack during the day. Mm -hmm. You can bring them to yoga class. If you want that promotion at work, you know, I'll give these to your boss to and you'll gym. be all set. We're done. Perfect. So that made, I don't know, a lot of protein balls. Nice. And, um, you can make them smaller or bigger, whatever you want. This is them. They Very look good. good. Taste Excellent. Good. You want to taste them? Time for my favorite part of the video, the taste test. Um, mmm. Oh, you can put them in the fridge too. They're good in the fridge. But you could eat them right when you're done too. These are good. These are going to help me live well now. And it's going to help me get some dates in the future. Because they'll be nice and lean and energized to make bad jokes and attract other women. So, um, thank you so much for no helping problem. this great recipe. Simple and easy to do. Even I can probably replicate this on my own without making too many mistakes. So thank you so much for watching and more great recipe videos and other videos coming soon. Thanks.